Hey everyone, welcome back to my Mexican kitchen here in Switzerland. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a traditional Mexican beverage called cafe de olla, which means uh, coffee in a pot. It's called like this because it's traditionally made in a clay pot, which I don't have, but I improvise with what I have. Uh, but it's really delicious. You'll get this in many Mexican restaurants. You'll find it in many Mexican homes. It's something that we like and enjoy drinking. I hope you guys enjoy the video. The ingredients you need for your cafe de olla are one liter of water, one large piloncillo or eight little ones, one cinnamon stick, uh, the peel of half an orange, 50 grams of ground coffee, uh, use uh, whole coffee and grind it, don't use instant coffee, one allspice berry, and one clove. Okay, so this coffee is super easy to make. It's different to the coffee that you guys might be used to. It's not brewed in a machine. It has to be boiled in your clay pot. If you don't have one, just improvise. I'm going to use an enamel one. Uh, before I start, uh, when I said ground coffee, I mean like really ground from ground beans. Don't use instant coffee. Either get your barista to ground you some or grind you some, or you can buy it already pre-ground, whatever. Whatever is easier for you guys. So the first step would be boiling your water and then once it's boiling, you're going to dissolve your piloncillo in there. Uh, piloncillo is a type of brown sugar similar, which is very used a lot in Mexico and in Central America. It's very common to find it over there. So like that, you can know what you're using. And once it's dissolved, we're gonna add all of our, all of our ingredients into the water and we're gonna let it have a soft boil. Uh, once it boiled for about a minute or two, we're going to strain it and then it's ready to drink. That's how easy it is to make. As you guys saw, it's super easy to make. It's like really, really, really easy. And uh, one thing about this coffee is it can be quite strong. And as much as I love it, I'm not a big fan of strong, strong coffees. And something funny happened to me this summer. I was in Mexico and we were in the farm with my cousins. And one of them tells me, shall we add some rompope to your coffee? Rompope is a Mexican style eggnog. It's, it's similar to eggnog, but it, it's also quite different. So I thought, sure, let's try it with eggnog. And to my surprise, it was really good. I, I enjoyed my coffee like that a lot. So if you guys have eggnog or rompope in your house, add a bit, you're gonna enjoy it very much. And um, I made a cake for my coffee because of course you can't have coffee without cake or dessert. It's not right. Uh, this cake, I already have the recipe up in the channel. It's called, um, I think it's piggy bread cake or pan de marranitos in Spanish because it's similar to the taste of these breads that you can find in Mexican bakeries, which are shaped like little piggies. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As you saw, it's really, really easy to make. So give it a try and tell me, let me know how you enjoyed it. See you next time and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please watch the other videos. Just click on the links and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.